Welcome back to Spartan Sprout and in this video I just wanted to share with you a quick tip when it comes to mushroom liquid culture. These four jars of liquid culture are all the same species of mushroom. They were all made using light corn syrup and it must not have been enough nutrients because the mycelium didn't even grow past the halfway mark and it's been about five months. The mycelium is not gonna grow anymore in these jars because there's no nutrients, and it's gonna be really hard getting the mycelium out of the jar because of the small amount of mycelium. The syringes would just have a little tiny bit of mycelium in them because it's diluted so much. So what I've been doing to solve this problem of not having enough mycelium in the jar is to take an empty jar and pour out the excess liquid. As always, it is risky to open the jar lid, so I'm doing it in front of a laminar flow hood, but you can do it inside of a still air box or while working under a Bunsen burner flame. Additionally, I wear gloves and a mask and I wipe everything down with isopropyl alcohol. I try not to shake the jar so that the mycelium settles at the bottom and then I tilt the jar very carefully and dump out the liquid leaving the mycelium behind. The excess liquid can be discarded and then the leftover mycelium from each of the jars is combined into one jar. Each of the jars contain one magnetic stir bar so while pouring the mycelium I also make sure not to dump out the magnetic stir bar and to keep it inside of the original jar. By taking the small amount of mycelium from four jars and dumping it into one jar, I now have a full jar of mycelium that can easily be made into syringes. I've done this a lot of times and I've never had any problems. But as always, you can test the final liquid culture jar on agar plates to make sure it's clean. Mm -hmm. 
and that's all there is to it. I hope this video helps you if you're having problems with liquid cultures not having enough mycelium to make an adequate syringe. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more mushroom cultivation videos.